Here's what you need to know tonight. A new law splits the Department of Public Safety into two separate agencies. A PSD spokesman says it'll unify multiple state departments, which will result in faster prosecution of cases and a stronger presence, plus expand operations on the neighbor islands with the goal of taking some of the pressure off of county police. A federal jury today convicted three former adult corrections officers of beating an inmate back in 2015. Surveillance video captured Jason Tungaloa, Craig Pinckney, and Jonathan Tom pinning the inmate to the ground and punching him multiple times. They then falsified reports when they were under investigation. They're now in federal custody awaiting sentencing and could each face up to 20 years in prison. Honolulu prosecutors charged Irene Guzman with three counts of attempted murder. She's accused of stabbing her ex-boyfriend and his female friend in Waipahu over the weekend with a 13-inch kitchen knife. Guzman's being held on $750,000 bail. She's scheduled to be back in court on Wednesday. Governor David Ige signed the bill today, which allocates $600 million to help with the growing Department of Hawaiian Homeland's wait list. This could help build up to 3,000 homes and expedite the building process from 10 to 15 years to just 3 to 5 years.